Well, that was exciting. It's the uh, last day of deer season here in West Tennessee. Um, this last week they had a, a landowner uh, hunt and uh, it's been pouring down rain. 15, 20 minutes before uh, last light and uh, a doe comes out, small doe, and uh, I look up and it's looking right at me and it's downwind to me. Um, last day of a uh, hunt, you, you can't choose which way the wind blows and this is the stand I, I wanted to hunt so I, ch I chanced it and sure enough she came out right downwind to me in this field and um, young one. So it, it, uh, it, looked, it sniffed up turned around into the woods but apparently it really wanted to go this way so it came back out and it stood there and it stood there and it stood there and uh so I couldn't really do much and then it turned around I got the gun up and then I uh, waited for it to turn broadside and uh she stepped back right where she came from but she gave me a broadside shot I shot she jumped so the fact that she jumped makes me think uh, I got her good uh, uh, front right shoulder maybe a little far forward um when I, when I squeezed the trigger it felt like I was a little far forward but she was moving that direction, so maybe maybe it came back. So um, we'll give it another moment or two here, and we'll go look for this blood. It's getting dark, um, so we'll see what happens. Um, last day of deer season. Welcome to Ridge Life. All right, welcome back. We've uh, gotten down on the tree, and um, some trees right over there. We walked. Uh, we're probably 50 yards. 40, 50 yards, and I did find some hair. So we definitely hit her. So let's just look around, see if we can see see some blood. She jumped. When I hit her, she she jumped. So uh, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I got her. Actually, obviously I got her if there's some fur right there. But uh, the way she kicked made me think it was a good shot. I don't see any blood yet. 30 out six, you know, should do a really good job. But, uh, of course, that blood, uh, that fur may have blown over. So there's prints. All right, welcome back to Ridge Life. Um, we shot the deer in the field. You can tell it's 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 dark now. I'll point you out over there. You can see sun has set. Fields over there. We um, saw a little fur, and uh, it's been raining, so it's really hard to see any blood. But uh, I've been following the trail this way. Get through here. Over and we're gonna look at something else. All right, who can see this right here? Does anybody see anything glowing? So let's go. Looking, so if I go to the right, I just see the tree line, I see the grass and the dirt. Oh, there's something nice and hot right there. That is hot. 70 degrees everything else over here is cold so let's go oh, there it is let's see what I see here what do we see what do we see anybody know what this is what does that look like to y'all so if I go to the hot spot on the low one there so 70 degrees and that's the spot where it was shot Y'all think it was shot in a good spot? I think it was shot in a good spot, don't you? I don't know about y'all, but I think that's pretty dang cool. There's 70, 75. We need to get this thing field dressed. This is nice to have. These are cheap. Excellent. Good way to end the season. Nice dough. So it was a lung shot. She didn't go. Gosh. 30 yards, but I hit her 
because she was traveling uh, right, so she was walking this way, and uh, so she stepped into it, and I thought I went, shot her a little forward, but apparently not, so good shot, oh yeah, nice size doe, let's get over here, excellent, very happy with that to finish the season up, last day of West Tennessee's deer season, and I take a big doe. So that is uh, the sixth deer we've taken out here on the ridge. Uh, five for me, uh, two bucks and three does. So it's been a great season. And uh, we'll drag her to the edge of the field and go get the Kubota. Yeah, we'll uh, get that Kubota and pull her out, and get her field dressed over here and get her skinned up, quartered up, put on ice and uh, wet aged with our buck that's sitting on in the cooler wet aging and uh, get her checked in. Again, thanks a lot. Thanks everyone for, for being with us out here. We appreciate it. It's been a wonderful, wonderful deer season. Good way to end it up. Welcome back to Ridge Life. Well, we have our uh, large doe. She, uh, we gutted her, we skinned her, we quartered her, and we got her cut up into pieces so we can uh, start wetting, wet aging her. She was a really nice sized doe. We have uh, two shoulders. Of course, we have some uh, rump roast, ham, sirloins, um, some burger meat, uh, two beautiful backstrap loins, uh, tenderloins, awesome sweet tenderloins, and then we have this uh, heart which take, uh, cooks up wonderfully, but I am, of the five deer I shot this year, three were like that. So we had a heart shot. Um, this, this heart's salvageable though, it's not, not too damaged, I'm, I'll be able to save some of one of the hearts I shot was just destroyed in the video. But um, all five deer I shot uh, didn't go 30, 50 yards, they were all either through the lung, uh, liver, and or heart, uh, three are through the heart. So very, very, very blessed this year with uh, venison. Uh, we'll get all this uh, put in the cooler and start wet aging it for a couple weeks. Um, so we were six deer on the ridge. I, I, I was blessed to take five. So it's just been a wonderful season. I uh, run really large uh, eight point, which uh, we're getting a euro mount. So until next season for hunting from the ridge, we uh, hope everyone has a blessed year. Uh, God bless you. Um, and uh, have a blessed day and go Ridge Life.